Here at John Curtin College of the Arts, we have a substantial emphasis on STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Over the years, our group has been able to understand how to actually apply STEAM to our classes. We believe that design and technology is the true pathway to creating an integration of learning areas. It is only by applying the principles and processes of design and technology to the learning areas of science, engineering, maths, and especially at our school, the arts, that we are able to further our learning to benefit us in our life after high school. Our school does this by integrating aspects of our design and technology department into our maths classes, using maths and engineering to create innovative stage productions and by using high level maths in our design labs to simulate extremely complicated engineering scenarios. In the year seven classroom, Google SketchUp is being used to teach the basics of trigonometry and geometry. In the program, the year sevens have been able to draw and create several triangles and shapes to their correct dimensions. They can see how the Pythagoras rule really works, they can see how the volume and area of shape changes, and they can do this in a creative way. In addition to that, they'll be able to put any of these questions into a real life scenario within the program to measure the lengths and angles on things such as architecture and product designs. SketchUp provides a strong foundation for design and technology and can be applied in so many ways, and these skills need to be taught just as much as handwriting and simple addition. Being able to see how the theory of maths learned can be used in a real life scenario and actually using it in a real life scenario can not only be more engaging but also much more fun. Something unique to our college is the application of maths and engineering within the arts. In the N9 Technical Graphics class, a group of keen drama and musical theatre students have been able to recreate our very own curtain theatre in Google SketchUp. The model created is automatically rendered into virtual reality for immediate use. This has allowed set designers for the theatre and students in production classes to be able to put their set designs in and see whether the set works or if improvements are needed. The Year 9s have used architectural floor plans and 3D models of the theatre for measurements and have been able to reproduce the theatre to its exact proportions in virtual reality. This is a perfect example of using maths and engineering to create something which my fellow students are passionate about and can actually use to enhance their art form. Now in Year 11, we are applying our skills learnt from a range of Maths ATAR courses like Maths Specialist, Math Methods and Maths Applications to a wide range of science, engineering and art projects in our Certificate 2 Design Lab. For example, Lachlan's rover must be able to negotiate the college terrain with ease, including significant gradients of up to 30 degrees. To choose appropriate motors for this unit, we must consider a worst case scenario. Motors are under highest load when traversing a slope. The torque demanded from each motor must overcome both acceleration due to gravity and the frictional force on the ground while still accelerating the rover forward. We can calculate the vector component of apparent horizontal acceleration due to gravity at a 30 degree gradient in the diagram. The rover must be able to navigate the college with a reasonable speed of 25 km per hour or approximately 7 meters per second. So therefore, 116.66 radians per second is our angular velocity for the motors. To find the power needed for these motors, we use the formula power equals torque multiplied by angular velocity, and therefore we can find the power equals 30.2 watts. This allows us to actually order the motors from the supplier to the exact specifications for the job. Now Dylan has been creating realistic simulations of working engineering products and programs like Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Revit, AutoCAD, Unreal Engine and SketchUp Pro, which are all industrial standard programs. These simulations that he's creating involve complex algorithms and three-dimensional geometry. Dylan is also pioneering the use of architecture in virtual reality so that we can virtually interact with our models. All of this is dependent on the content that we learn in our maths pathways, and we believe that this is the future of mathematics. Maths is the future. How can we as students be more prepared for this future, you may ask? By using maths in real-life applications and incorporating this into maths curriculums, because the more opportunities we have to incorporate design and technology and maths, the better we are going to be. The skills and knowledge that we gain from these courses is so much more important than the grade that we end up with at the end of our high school career. And by using design and technology to further our learning and understanding of science, engineering, the arts, and especially mathematics, we are ready for the future.